We're looking into the Boxster engine right now, and I've got the starter back in. I wanted to tell you a few things that I experienced when I did this. One it is, this is a 97, so I've only got the one tube across. This is tricky getting um, these connected, disconnected. So the original is I had to loosen all these up, shove these tubes to one side or the other. In the end, what I found to work the best was to put um, both of these rings on, keep it loose, and shove the the actual seal as far in as possible. This one you can get a little further in because there's more room. And that will allow you to slide it in between the two manifolds. So this is one of the more annoying parts of this job that did take a little extra effort. Um, aside from that, it's a straightforward project. I did take some time to get into the um, intake, and I sprayed some... Uh, uh, MAF cleaner in there and that really got the gunk out. <clears throat> I also took some time to clean out inside the manifolds and um, the engine case. So you can see this is a nice clean case on the top. There had been some oil and I've still got some issues to deal with on this car. So there's actually this is the, um, the tube of the dipstick which goes down. This bigger one is the oil filler. So you've got the oil filler and the dipstick here and that um, toes is actually broken, which will drip oil down on the engine. That's a good thing. If it, I don't know if it would actually come up that high or not, but I'd like it fixed. So that needs to be changed. But we'll get to it. And aside from that, um, I think this hose right here, I saw a little bit of wear and tear on the bottom. It's not open yet, but if there was ever a idle issue, that'd be the thing to go for. Um, and those are hidden things that don't really get um, looked at. The other thing I thought was a little tricky is on these gaskets there's actually a little hole in the gasket which goes out to a vacuum tube this one goes over to that side there and then i've also got one on this side that connects to that vacuum tube that one i believe wasn't even connected so vacuum is one of those things where it's like fine tuning on your car it may run it may not run perfect if you have idling issues that could be part of the problem okay so i think that's about it for now i've got to put the tube on which goes back over here to the air intake that's where the air box is and these two things clip off if you ever want to change your air filter it comes right off um aside from that not terribly bad standard issue tools that's my collection of tools i usually put the red tape around um, a certain size this is usually 15 and um, helps me spot her a little quicker got my little bin of bolts which i still have a few more to do i did have to use the 18 inch um, Extension, which you want to get this bottom bolt here. You have to come in from the front in the car. I've got this open now. Right now the, the actual deck is up and uh, gives me full access. Not bad access, I have to admit. It's nicer than a 914. Not as good as a 924, but um, it's still doable. Okay, so overall I'd say the start of change on a Boxster is medium in terms of difficulty. There's a lot of process to go through got to get it right as far as difficulty it's not terribly difficult it's just a process to get in here and tear everything down and put it back together so that's it for now i think that's going to do it and thanks for watching this is tim shark bros porsche pros